In this tutorial, you will learn how to crochet this simple flat 8 petal flowers. For work, you need a ball of yarn and a crochet hook, a bead for the center if needed. To begin, make a chain of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And join the chain in a round with a slip stitch. Now begin the first round. Make one chain stitch up and now work into the ring. Make 23 single crochet stitches into the ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Continue. I repeat. Make 23 single crochet stitches into the ring. Here I made 23 single crochet stitches into the ring. Now complete this round by making a slip stitch through the first chain stitch. The first round is made. Begin the second one, the last round, where I'll be crocheting petals. Make one chain stitch up, then chain four more to begin the first petal. One, two, three, four. Then work three double treble crochet stitches together. Yarn over the hook three times to work a double treble stitch. Work the first double treble through the same stitch. It is through the chain stitch that we worked a slip stitch through to complete the first round. Work this double treble like you would until you have two loops on the hook. Hold these two loops and begin the second double treble through the next stitch. Work it like you would until you have three loops on the hook. And now begin the last third double treble stitch. Work it through the next stitch of previous round. Stop when you have four loops on the hook. Now yarn over and pull through four. Now we begin to make picots. First make a three chain picot, chain three, and Work a slip stitch, inserting the hook in these two middle loops of our previous stitch. They are in the middle. These two loops on both sides should be free. So work in two middle loops of previous stitch. Insert the hook, pull up a loop through and pull this loop through the loop on your hook. Slip stitch is made and a three chain pico is ready. Now continue chain 5 and slip into the same two middle loops. Here we made a 5 chain pico. Then continue with a 3 chain pico, chain 3 and slip into the same two middle loops. Here on top of each petal we will be making these 3 picots. Continue. To complete the first petal, chain 4 and single crochet through the same single crochet stitch that the last double treble is made into. This double treble made through the single crochet work a single crochet through the same stitch. The first petal is made. Now let's continue and begin the second one. To start the second petal, single crochet through the next stitch, then chain four, one, 
two, three, four. And as we did the first petal, work three double treble stitches together. The first double treble work through the same stitch of previous round that we worked a single crochet through. Work it until you have two loops on the hook. Then work the second double treble through the next stitch and stop when you have three loops on the hook. Do not complete the stitch. And then work the last double treble through the next stitch. Work until you have four loops on the hook. Then work yarn over and pull through four to make these stitches together. Now work picots. Work a three chain picot, chain three, and slip in two middle loops of the decreased stitch. You can see I inserted the hook in two middle loops. Then make a five chain picot, chain five, and slip into the same two loops and a three chain pico chain three and slip into the same two middle loops. Then to complete this petal chain four and single crochet through the same stitch that our last double treble is made through. Insert the hook through the same single crochet and work a single crochet. The second petal is made. Continue and work the same petals till the end of this round. There will be eight petals by the end of the round. Here I've just made the last petal. My flower is almost ready. To complete this round, you just need to make a slip stitch through the first chain stitch that we made on the beginning of this round. Here is this stitch. Insert the hook and slip into this chain stitch. The flower is ready. You can cut off the yarn. This is the front. And let's see at the back side of our flower. I will add a bead to the center. To make this simple flower more interesting, you can add a bead or a button to the center. Here you can see I made the exact same flower of pink yarn. Also, the center of your flower you can decorate with a small crochet button, like I'm going to do for one of my projects. I will add this crochet button to my pink flower. You can find out how to crochet this beautiful puffy button in playlist crochet buttons and fasteners tutorial 7. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.